day 12 and we're going to continue with Genesis 6 3 a few more sources the Lord said my breath or spirit shall not abide in man forever since he too is flesh let the days allowed him be 120 years we pointed out in the last video that there are hints of not only Moses but B'nai Noah here because 120 is the value of B'nai Noah, sons of Noah, or children of Noah. And uh, they say that this verse is connected to Moses, and there's a hint here because this word has the same value as the name Moshe, and of course, Moses lived for 120 years. And here's a couple of sources. For that also he is flesh. The correct interpretation in my mind, or in my eyes, is that God said, My spirit will not dwell in man forever, because man is also flesh. Like all flesh that crawls on the earth in the form of birds, cattle, and animals, it is not appropriate that the spirit of God dwells within him. This means to say that God made man upright, to be like one of the angels as a result of the soul he gave him. But man was drawn after flesh and physical desires. He is like the beast that will perish, and therefore the Spirit of God will no longer dwell within him, for man is physical and not godly. However, he will prolong the departure of his spirit if they repent. So he gave uh, the people 120 years to repent, which is the amount of time it took to build the ark, Noah's ark. And one more. All right. It is intolerable that there will continue the argument strife before me, allowing the angels to claim that although seeing that man has been dowed with has been endowed with divine qualities, he must be punished, whereas his close ties to physical earth must be considered as excuses for his conduct, entitling him to continued mercy and indulgence by me. So Hashem is using mercy to say he's like, man is supposed to be like the angels and godly, but he's also tied to this earth and has physical desires and he's uh, subject to them. It makes life uh, more difficult. And it says he will be given a certain length of time within which to repent his sins. So 120 years, which is the human lifetime. During which time Noah would have time to construct the ark and by, and by doing so, rebuking and warning people of what is in store for them. And there are stories that say while he was building the ark, he wasn't out there trying to convince everybody to repent. Well, those weren't his instructions either, and we know that Noah was a uh, plain person. If God told him to do something, he did it. Um, but people would come by and ask him, like, what are, you, what are you doing? And he would tell them, and they'd pretty much just laugh in his face and call him a fool. So, <laughs> uh, just a little something on what the world was like back then and this 120 year period. <laughs>